of Belize after his exploits last year in this category. And uh, he returns in this division looking to go even better than he did a year ago. Currently moving up is Myers. Looks to take the lead at this stage. So he's running very comfortably at the, the top of the pack. Myers of Belize, Love, Joseph of the Turks and Caicos Islands, Jalen St. Louis, Grenada, Jaden Alexander, Trinidad and Tobago, Wendell Bade of Aruba, Ruben Roten, Martinique, Cameron Adkins, Bermuda, Sikani Brown, Jamaica, Gianluca Bortoli of Bermuda, Nyan Davis of Dominica, Carlos Brisson, St. Martin, Shemar Green, Jamaica, Isaiah Alda, Trinidad and Tobago, and Adriel Mitchell of Grenada. So Demetra Myers of Belize with the early lead in the under 17 boys, 1500 meters. Myers won the double last year, the 1500 and the 3000. Returned to Belize to a hero's welcome. He was given a check and documents for a parcel of land. He's 134 running on the inside with the advantage in this race. Alongside him, Wendell Bade of Aruba, also having a pretty good run, and Bade goes to the front. Now, the defending champion has run 410 indoors. He is based in Pennsylvania, USA, and he's been given quite a run for his money here in the early stages of the 1500 final for under 17 boys by Bade out of Aruba. Bade, a very solid runner, goes 415. So he'll certainly uh, come on with a strong challenge. Right now, though, the champion watches on, trying not to lose touch. Bade really stepping up the tempo here, and the defending champion, Dimitri Mars, is unable to go with him. In many ways, Bade is doing to Mars what he did to the field a year ago. This is highly impressive coming from the Aruban. And he's, now maybe Mars is starting to respond. He's taken the sting out of the field, but uh, the question is how long he can maintain that kind of pace and hold on to that lead. It's uh, sometimes wise for you to be able to sprint out ahead of the field if you can hold it. We've seen successful 1,500-meter runners do so, but as they take the bell here, uh, it's going to be tough for him to hold on to that final 400, especially with people giving chase. Bade has the advantage for Aruba. The Jamaican Shamar Green moves into the silver medal position. The defending champion, surprisingly, struggling in third position at this stage. Sekane Brown, the second Jamaican, holds fourth spot. This is quite a turn up in the 1500 final for under 17 boys. Windell, Bade of Aruba, 200 meters to go. It's Shamar Green who will be chasing him. Dimitri Myers is struggling badly here. He's in fourth position. Shamar Green senses that he can chase the Aruban, and he starts to do so. 110 meters to go. It is Bain of Aruba. Shamar Green of Jamaica steps forward. Sakani Brown, the second Jamaican, in third. I don't think Bain has anything left. He's looking around, now thinking about just silver. Shamar Green of Jamaica from nowhere comes through to win the under-17 boys 1500. Bain of Aruba gets silver, Sakani Brown of Jamaica gets bronze. And the defending champion, shockingly, finishes in fifth position. That is the biggest shock on day one of the Charybda Games. He's run 4.10 indoors for the 1500 meters, so it's not that he hasn't been in good shape this season. That is really shocking as Green of Jamaica lands gold. He did really badly, did Myers. Shamar Green, though, timed his run well. He held on in that chasing pack, and never uh, too flustered, never tried to get caught up with trying to chase the race, just ran his own race and uh, let it come to him. And did indeed, at the end, come to him with the young man from Aruba, uh, but trying to go out a little bit too hard and unable to hold on to the lead. Shamar Green uh, 
usually an advantage being able to run from behind, especially when you are right on the heels of uh, the person you're chasing, as he was on this occasion, and uh, able to see clear skies through to the finish. I guess that is a lesson in learning to run your own race because that's what Shamar Green did. Didn't get caught up with the fast early pace by the Aruban or by the defending champion Myers. And for a moment, I think he was running for silver or bronze. And then he realized with about 300 to go. Oh my it's, gosh, it's there. there's a chance. It's there. You, you let the race come to you sometimes. And it has definitely come to Shamar Green as the Jamaicans win back-to-back -back gold medals. One, two in the under-17 girls, one, three in the under-17 boys. Let's head to Gerard Marcelli. Thanks, Ricardo. 